Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be creating this drawing with colour pencils and a graphic fine liner. It's a fun little project and the finished result looks pretty realistic. So let's get into it. To create this, we'll be using an A3 sketch pad. The coloured pencils we are using are the 24 piece signature colour pencil set, an eraser, a fine liner, and this has a 0.05 tip, and a 6B pencil. The first step is to create the key line. To help with this, we have supplied this reference sheet that you can find on our website. Flip it over and shade the back side with a 6B pencil. Place it shaded side down, tape it into position and retrace all of the line work onto a sheet of the sketchbook. Don't press too hard though, as it will cause furrows in the paper that the colour pencil will not cover very well. Next we refine our drawing and basically relay in all that line work that was transferred with an ink fine liner. We have supplied an image of the finished work on our website that you can refer to for the colouring stage of this project. At this stage we also add in any extra details. We can then lay our dark tones in with the black coloured pencil. We add this tone to the shadows in the bottle. The edges of the trail of wine coming out of the bottle, the dark areas of the wine in the glass and the edges of the glass. The first colour will be the green of the bottle. The best way to achieve this colour is by laying colours over the top of one another to create the tone. This is a bit like glazing with paint and it's called optical blending. We start by laying on some moss green. Build the colour up gently so the colour is consistent. Any areas that need to be lighter just receive a thinner coat of the initial colour. Once the moss green is on, we lay on some cadmium yellow over the top. The red of the wine in the bottle is laid in with scarlet and ultramarine blue is blended over the top. The red wine will look a different shade here as the bottle is green. To create that rich tone, I add a little purple over the red also. The wine coming out of the bottle can be laid in with scarlet. For this, we create the tone lightly first, then build up the tone for the darker areas. Refer to the colour guide and lay black in over any dark areas. Colour the stem of the glass in and shade the bottom side with varying weights of tone. In this area of the glass, the wine is washing up the glass and is very thin, so we lay the colour on very sparsely. It's always best to lay the darks of the shadows down first and then put colour over the top as it gives some warmth to the black.
Well, thanks for watching. We hope you picked up something from this. Stay tuned because we've got more really cool stuff coming up. And remember to stay creative.